and spices has become as one of our natural wealth and that has become as one of the factors of why the Dutch decided to take a journey to Indonesia. Cornelis de Houtman, an explorer from the Netherlands who was the first person to found the ocean route from Europe to Indonesia. At first, he started the expedition just to buy some herbs and spices. Well, he decided to change his plan. He then became as what you call an amoral person. His story said that his second expedition was where all of the Netherlands colonial invasion started. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you the tales of the Dutch voyage. Once upon a time on 11599 on the busy and hectic port of Banten. A ship just arrived, more like a foreign and fancy ship. A man walked out of the fancy ship accompanied by his ship's crew. That man seemed so sturdy and healthy. Sultan Banten and his people gathered around the ship that just arrived and greeted him with joy and a lot of warm smiles. And sir, may I know what's your name and where are you from and the purpose of your coming here? Ah, oh, yes, I'm Cornelis de Hotman and this is my older brother, Frederick de Hotman, and we are from Netherlands. Ah. Wow, what a long journey! Sir, okay, your sir, purpose of coming all the way to Indonesia. To buy some very well, you know, herb and spice. Well, I'm not from the Portuguese and I decided to see and buy those herbs and spices too, even if take a pretty long trip with our mighty ship. I will make an amazing contribution in the future, but for now, let's have some rest in my house, shall we? Come, sir, let me take it to our residence. On the next day, when Cornelius the Hotman and his brother is at the residence, they met lots of drama with the public. He accepted impolity and accepted however he wants like a key to the locals. Due to the irresponsible attitudes and action, the Sultan got real mad and totally changed his mind about selling the herbs and spices to them. But this kind of attitude is really unacceptable. That's why I'm asking you to leave right now. Cornelius the Hutman got kicked out from the land of Banten. He continued his expedition to find the herbs and spices around the country. Little did they know that someone watching them from afar. They met the pirates who are eager to steal every precious thing they have inside that ship. So the crew ship decided to get involved on defending their ship. Our next robbery target. Look at that ship that's on our way. We are so happy that we are about to rob the Portuguese ship. What do you want, pirates? Stay away from us, we just want to continue our journey. Ho ho ho, no can do sir, we want everything inside the beautiful ship. Hey, don't touch our stuff. We are not touching it. Calm down, we're not touching it. We're just gonna steal it. Well, if you want to steal our stuff, then fight me. No one could ever take a single penny away from us. Prove me wrong. After getting kicked out from the land of Banten, Cornelius the Hotman got attacked by pirates and the pirates succeeded to steal all of their things. But then, Cornelius and Frederick ran away successfully. Wow, those people are so rich! Look at these! Am I right, right? Yep, red, Cornelius. 
After Cornelius and Freddy ran away from the pirates, he saw an island that he suspect to be a group of pirates. He came to the island and found out that the island he sailed to is actually Madura, and his ship reels we are ready to make another mess. Hello, madam. What's with you here? You guys are pirates, right? And you guys want to rob Cornelius the Houseman and his brother, right? Sorry, sir. I think you got the wrong person. You're not. You're not. Not to get your seat. Yeah, we are bad guys. Ah, <laughs> they are just laying. <laughs> just attack them. You are coming here just to make some sort of toss in order. Get away from Madura, cause we are not some bad girls. We are just some normal brothers who live here. So from now on, stay away from Madura. At last, the Madurese people kicked out Cornelius and his crews away from Madura. So they left after making a huge fuss in Madura. On 1597, Cornelius the Hotman did another expedition and arrived at Bali. As soon as he arrives at Bali, Cornelius the Hotman got some warm greetings by the people there. I'm sir, how are you? I'm not tricks you here. Hello sir, nice to meet you. I'm Cornelius the Hootman and I'm from the Netherlands. And I'm Frederick the Hootman, his older brother. How did you get all the way to Indonesia? We got here by sailing and the purpose of us. Flying here is that we are interested in flying your herbs and spice. What a coincidence, we have herbs and spices that we want to sell. Yes sir, and in Bali, we have a top quality herbs and spice. Finally, Cornelius got his herbs and spices from Bali, but then comes back on 1599 and arrived at Aceh. Then he got welcomed by the locals. Welcome to Aceh, sir. Who are you, sir, and where are you from? To meet you. I'm Cornelius the Hotman. I predict the Hotman. We are from Netherlands. So what made you come here? We want to buy some herbs and spices from Aceh. That's great. We have some great quality spice. After having some conversation with Cornelis, Kumala Hayati wants to make a great bond with Cornelis and sell herbs and spices to the Dutch. But then again, because of Cornelis the Hotman's bad attitude, he got in hot water with Aceh. So Kumala Hayati decided to leave an attack to keep Cornelis away from Aceh. Sir, we literally greeted you and your person with the warm smile that you decided to act badly. So if you don't want to fix that attitude, come and fight me. Kamala Hayati, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Let me help you. After that fight between Cornelius the Hotman and Kumala Hayati, Cornelius died on Kumala Hayati's hand and Freddy got fortunate in Aceh.
based on Cornelis de Hotman's voyage that was the beginning of all the 3th century Dutch invasion. We, as Indonesians, have to upload our good relationship. So let's unite so we can create peace and harmonies in Indonesia.